All right, guys. So here's the next project. This is uh, the little hook four that I have for the uh, for the rev, and I definitely need a visor. So I decided to try to make one, just because I can. Guaranteed to get what you need, and that's what you want. What you want. I already kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but I kind of traced out where I kind of want it. Um, and obviously it's going to change as I go. But well, we're going to give this a go. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have the bottom part. I think I'm going to probably cut, I don't know. I think I'm going to cut the bottom here. So it's only left, right, and above not the full thing but I think I want it to come down to here so I'm going to start with the back make sure I get it that to fit try to line up these holes I do have screws for these hopefully I can get that right and um, go from there yeah so let's start cutting I'm going to kind of go small I'm going to kind of go smaller first. Hmm. Alrighty. And now uh, we're just going to take our time. Let's not cut toward myself here. We're going to kind of go, go big and just keep at it. And go, keep going smaller. Rough, rough cut and as you can see I got some more cutting to do so I'm going to cut it in small increments so I don't cut too much and hopefully we can make this work so I got it just about perfect I got a little bit more trimming to do it's not perfectly centered and it's probably a little crooked but that's the gist of it and uh, like I said I'm probably gonna cut I'm probably gonna cut the visor at the bottom of the screen so the buttons are exposed and I'm probably not gonna keep it this deep I don't know how deep I'm gonna keep it um, I'm gonna start I don't know I might start where this edge stops so maybe like here and I might try to kind of do that kind of thing. But we'll see. That gives you the gist. I mean, you can definitely tell there's more room on this side than this side. <laughs> I never was good at art class. That's for sure. So that's, uh, I'm going to continue to cut away here and trim. And hopefully get this thing almost perfect. Yeah. drew a line now I'm just cutting it pretty simple dog people he's annoying all right that should take care of the width okay I think that might be a good depth oh, duh. 
Oh, we put it in correctly. I think that will be a good depth. Still deep enough, but I can see it and I can still get to the buttons, especially when I cut this whole bottom. That's the next step. So I also cut the whole bottom out. Uh, I just felt with no bottom, getting to the buttons would be a lot more easier. Um, yeah. So the original, the, the Burley Pro cover only comes to maybe halfway through the screen. So this goes all the way down. So this should really shield a lot of the sun. So this should work very, very nicely. And um, now we just got to figure out where these screw holes are. And so I can screw it down and this project will be done. All right, guys. Um, it's a, this, is a, this is like a couple days later here. Um, all I have to do to finish this project is make my two, get my two little holes. Now, I did go to Lowe's and I did find screws that fit here and they're, uh, they're uh, three millimeter. Three millimeter, three millimeter by 50 or point five, point five zero. Um, I got by eight and then I picked up by six. These are super small and obviously they are a little bit longer. Um, Depending upon how many washers and things I put on them, I'm not sure exactly which one to get, but they are three millimeter. So yeah, three millimeter, point, point 0.50. And those are the screws that fit into there. Now it's just figuring out where to make the hole. It's gonna be the, the most challenging part of this whole project. And then uh, that'll be done. There's the, the end result. Um, it's a little floppy at the bottom. I mean, they might get some sun through there, but I don't think it's going to make a big deal. Um, one thing you're going to have to account for, if you take your ram ball out of the lock mechanism, you're going to have to trim this a little bit. Uh, otherwise, you know, I, mean, I leave mine in, I just pull the whole thing off, so I really don't care. But if you are one that leaves the mount, but take the head off the kayak, then, you know, you're going to have to trim that a little bit. But you can, you can get that on and off. So, there we go. That, uh, that should do it. And here is where it goes. And it's going to go just like that. So that might be a little too big. I actually may end up trimming, may end up trimming this, these, this bottom part. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Oh yeah. Also, Look what else came in. I got the sailing rudder. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Sailing rudder came in. I, uh, I had to make new new handles. Uh, I had to uh, pull the kayak over a curb. Last time I took it out, I didn't really film, but and my front one actually snapped. So I made cheap PVC. Gotta love PVC, people. Stuff is great. So that's it for today. Um, I want to thank you for uh, for joining in. Um, please like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. And um, yeah. Until next time. I'll see you out there. Oh,